Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing my unboxing and review of Tsunami. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. Tsunami. This is gonna sting a little. <laughs> Such a great title for a movie. You just know this is gonna be cheesy. Yeah. From Wild Eye releasing, we have Tsunami. The storm is swarming. After an environmental catastrophe sends Los Angeles into chaos, three groups of survivors who escape the city must put aside their differences to face a series of apocalyptic events. As they learn to work together, they are faced with an even greater nightmare. Gravity swells that contain thousands of giant killer bees intent on ushering in the prophesized end of the world. Bonus features trailers. This one is unrated and has an 87 minute runtime. There's a look at all the quality well-known actors in this one. If you guys have seen this one somehow, uh, I would love to hear guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I'm not positive, but I think this one might be available on Amazon Prime. So let's check out the inside. And there you have a picture of the disc taken straight from the cover. Uh, I think these wild eye release things are pretty much always straight from the cover. I didn't notice before that guy's impaled on a stinger there. <laughs> pretty, pretty great looking cover. All right, guys, so I got to check out Tsunami. This was a movie I had been wanting to watch for a while, ever since I saw the trailer. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, you should definitely check that out. I kind of wanted to see if this was a movie that was so bad it was bad, or if it was like so bad it was good, if, if this movie had any kind of redeeming qualities to it, because if you, if you watch the trailer, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so this one's not rated, it has a one hour and 22 minute runtime, and is a drama horror movie. And it is directed by Milko Davis, and. Thomas Martwick and it stars and I'm gonna say stars very loosely it has people in it named Stacy Peterson, Rosellis Amin Perry, and Shale LePage. <laughs> so basically what happens is at the beginning of this movie there's this group of people who are trying to escape like these killer bees or something they're these huge bees and <laughs> so they're like driving through the country I guess and they get stopped by these kind of like hillbillies or whatever. Or they believe they're hillbillies. They're kind of like rednecks, I guess. And um, they, they're like holding each other at gunpoint. And then a cop shows up. And this ends up kind of being our main cast. These, uh, what is that, four, three, four, five, six people kind of ends up being the main cast. Now, everybody in this movie is extremely stereotypical uh, to the max, obviously. <laughs> um <laughs> it, it, I guess it was probably done for comedic effect, and I guess it kind of works. Um, so, so then we have this kind of standoff, and then these giant killer bees come and attack them, and, and the rest of the movie is basically spent trying to escape them. Um, and of course, some people along the way are attacked by the bees, and I, I guess once if you get stung by the bees, you get turned into a zombie. <laughs> I guess I didn't understand exactly what happened there so like I said the most of the movie they're just trying to escape them there's that one point where they kind of hold up in this house and I felt like that part was pretty slow and then for some reason at the end of the movie there's a bunch of extra footage I didn't really understand what was going on there like it's like five months later and there's just more footage and <laughs> so yeah this movie is <laughs> a pretty terrible B movie. You know, the production is really bad. The acting is really bad. <laughs> the story is really bad. But I do feel like this is kind of one of those ones where it's it's so bad, it's kind of good. Uh, you know, it's fun to watch with your friends and make fun of and laugh at and just have a good time. I don't think they took making this movie too seriously. And if you guys watch it, I definitely wouldn't take it seriously. Just take it for what it is. A little bit of fun to watch. Uh, so for a score on this one, guys, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. You know, had a lot of production issues, like terrible, terrible CGI, bad acting, you know, bad script, I'm sure. Because it's just... <laughs> 
it's just not great guys but it is it is a fun little movie and um so I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, be sure to leave it a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I will see you guys next time.